Experts in the use of drones have hailed the new technology which they feel will bring more youth in the agricultural sector, according to participants in the African Drone Forum taking place in Kigali. According to Eric Ruta, CEO for the Sharish U.S. drone company, youth are already on board. Yes, they have tried. They are attracted to farm to, to, uh, to farming because now uh, they are trying to. They are using uh, technology because youth are very excited about technology, the new technology. So now they are really um, uh, happy to contribute to the agriculture sector. They are coming in back because they know they are using their technology to help. So that's an exciting point that is bringing them back into the technology. Eric Aqua from Ghana has also advised farmers to come together and share costs to avoid bearing heavy burden. The small farmers in Africa are doing one acre, two acre or three acres. You know, so with the farmer that is doing one acre, two acre or three acre, it's very expensive for them to, to get the drones for themselves, you know, to buy the drones, one, of, one for themselves, and also to pay an operator to operate the drones. But then, if the farmers themselves are trained, you know, and then they can come together, maybe three smallholder farmers can come together and rent a drone for a day, and rent the drones for a day, you know, to use it for the service. I believe that, you know, uh, it, it will make it accessible for the, for the farmers and then it will make things very easier. The new emerging technology will also reduce post-harvest loss, which is a big problem to farmers. In Rwanda, post-harvest loss stands at 16% and the target is to bring it down to 5% by 2024. Is Bosco reporting.